Hello, hi, I'm Patricia. In this video, I want to talk to you about the energy of escapism and avoiding. Now, a lot of people, I would say almost everyone, does this to some extent throughout their life. Sometimes we have to, okay? However, when you're a twin flame, there is much more to know and it runs very deep for you. So if this is new to you, Welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia and I talk about all things Twin Flame, Twin Flame Ascension, relationships, what to do with those soulmates, what's what, symptoms, and of course, the 5D romance. Because yes, it is hearts and flowers, but it goes way beyond that. So welcome to my channel. Right now, I'm uh, going to focus on escapism. Escapism is an energetic okay it's an energy that's inside someone and it's usually accumulated over lifetimes okay this is why you will see some people who are ultra lazy and they will shirk their responsibilities because it's been in there didn't always start that way in fact how it many times starts is with inadequacy or just simply not being able to follow through on something not easy. How do people live like that? How do they feel good intentions, but then they can't follow through? And then it happens again, and it happens again until it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. There are even people that invite this. In fact, I know some of them in my personal life. They will be all too happy for someone to call them a jerk or call them a shitty person or, you know, call them a piece of you know what or a waste of space because... To them, to that person, they've heard it all before. They do not care. You could call them every name in the book. You could hit them, beat them bloody, stick them in jail. They're not going to change. And then, after all, they deserve it. They're expecting it. They're always in trouble, right? Wrong, because this is no longer acceptable behavior for people that are here to be the ultimate lovers, and so escaping everything is never going to happen. Escaping danger, yes, that should happen. Escaping responsibilities, no. Escaping the birth of babies, no. Escaping the conception of babies, no. Escaping the threats that are right there, no. Escaping financial responsibilities, no. Escaping this, that, and the other thing. Escaping other people's emotions, intentions, responsibilities, expectations. The list goes on and on, right? Are you dizzy yet? Okay, so why do people feel this and how can you stop it? Especially if it is a part of you or your union. What if you live with someone that is always like, Tomorrow. Okay, sometimes they have expressions in other languages. Romani, Romani. That means tomorrow in Sicilian. Manana, manana. That's in Spanish, right? Forgive me if my accent is not spot on. But you get the idea. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. We're procrastinating. Well, sometimes procrastination brings with it a necessary kind of breather or pause. But for many people, it becomes a part of their bad behaviors. Now, here's the problem. Those same people will go and make it everyone else's fault. It's the phone company's fault. It's my dad's fault. It's the kid's fault. It's the mailman's fault. And on and on and on. In fact, there is something on Netflix right now, which in the 90s, you could use the excuse that, the wire transfer didn't come. Anyone seen, you know, inventing Anna? Oh my God. That's a tactic that that chick uses all the time in that show. And of course, it is a scripted show. We don't know all the details. But this is some people in real life. Okay, they are like that. It's the bank's fault. It's the telephone company's fault. It's their parents' fault. On and on and on as to why they cannot take charge of what they need to take charge of or take actions. And what if you're an introverted person and it's not like you to be assertive or even aggressive or to 
you know, move forward and take action. This is where your twin flame body comes in because you are able to have a balance of electric energy, which is your action energy, and magnetic energy, which is your gathering, informing, and creative energy. Create that thing, woo, and you move it into action. Are we losing the men? Okay, the men are exhausted with that continued drive, but that drive and action energy needs to be properly given back and redistributed to the people it belongs to. Now let's talk about avoidance. These are people that would say, I'd rather not talk about it. Or I got triggered. Or I can't talk to you. I'm going to pretend that I didn't even see you or notice you there. Or avoiding responsibilities altogether. Okay? Not just, you know, this is pe these are people that usually stick around, but they're avoiding it to a lot of extent. Escape artists are just that. They run away. They leave. They leave town. They leave the country. They do all kinds of stuff to completely escape what it is that they know in their hearts they're supposed to do. Now, again, my question is, what if this is you or your union? How are you supposed to do this? You know that the bar is being raised. You know that there are expectations of you. For some people, they begin to feel that in a way where they feel there's something really huge they're supposed to do. You cannot even get it off the ground unless you take care of your basic core stuff and start with your brand new chakra so you have a brand new foundation to work from, to operate from, to feel from, to feel those action steps, to have an economy of your actions so you don't get drained, to be efficient, to be reminded and guided by your higher self. Avoiding things is a part of the old paradigm. We are avoiding changing things. Now, on a larger scale, there's been a lot of avoiding of real social problems. We can see that. But unless you start taking care of what's right at home, take care of yourself, take care of your home, take care of your environment, take care of your family, Take care of those things that you feel connected to and responsible for. Uh-huh, but you're a twin flame. I heard you. I'm telling you you're a twin flame. I'm a twin flame. I'm supposed to be able to do this. Yes, you are. And not only that, you need to enlist the help of the etheric twin to make you magical. And not only that, to guide you. And not only that, help you to unplug those codependencies and old patterns of relationship. Are you unreliable? Are you undependable? Do you feel like you yourself or your twin flame is unreliable and dependable? You break promises. You say you're going to make it up, but somehow that falls short. You try your best, but your best really isn't your best. Is your best what you're capable of? You did the best in your moment. I'm doing the best I can. Okay. That's your best then. Your best as you move along should be here, okay? There should be an increase in what your best is. Now, if nobody's telling you this, okay, I'm not saying this to chide you. What I'm saying is that if you're aware of it, please know there are ways to integrate your body and work on this energetic of escaping and avoiding, okay? We see a lot of it, okay? We could blame politicians for escaping and avoiding things. We could blame people in our communities. We could blame the police. We could blame parents. We could be, be blaming the greatest generation. All these things come around. And it, not even like what comes around goes around. They come in cycles, repeated cycles, so that it can be addressed and many people can leave that level of where it once occurred for good. Now, how does it feel to, let me get to the good stuff here. How does it feel to actually be acknowledged by your higher self and prompted easily, naturally, friendly, sweetly, affectionately, lovingly? How does it feel? It feels beautiful. It feels wonderful. It feels wonderful to be tapped and have a music message with a lyric and just some visuals and something you see and you say, oh yeah, I almost forgot, but I've got to take care of that thing. And there it is. 
easy breezy? How easy is it for your higher self to help you eliminate unwanted things through your light body easily so that not only do they not distract you, they don't hinder you. They don't clutter up your landscape. They don't block you. How easy is it for your higher self to put the words in your mouth that people feel with their heart, not their head, not their egos, so that they're cooperative, they're understanding, there's genuine compassion there. How about that? Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be a world you want to live in? Let's make my universe happy. Yes, absolutely. So please look at the links below if you need help with these things. You'll be glad that you did because it is not about having talk, 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 talking things to death or getting yelled at or being in trouble. It is about transformation. It is about more than 12 ways that your soul can give you to get things accomplished. The universe is always open doors. Energy is always like the bus. You missed one, but another one is right here and you're right ready to step into it. Don't avoid it. Don't procrastinate. Look at the links below and let's get started, shall we? Thank you. Bye.